I think we got another Drake one. People like the Drake ones. The Drake Drake videos doing good on YouTube. People want to watch this shit. So there's something wrong with Drake. There is something deeply wrong with Drake. After one month of the war that was the Drake and Kendrick Lamar feud, nobody came out of it looking worse than Drake. Really, like, Kendrick did not drop, bro. Not again, bro. That boy shaking. A fucking dead? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. Oh! It wasn't looking good after last night. Let alone right now. Essentially, overnight, Drake went from being the standard of hip hop and one of its most respected veterans to being the joke of every hip hop meme. Instant. I'm at the pool party. BBL Drizzy, I'm at the pool party. And they just called you a pet. Whether you're in the industry, a diehard hip hop fan, or a casual listener, the general consensus is that Drake is somehow at the lowest point of his career. But it should be said that this is all Drake's fault. To the rest of you, the non believers, the underachievers, the tweeting the deleters. deleters. You guys made me <laughs> sick to my stomachs, fam. Honestly, if you guys want to look in my eyes, you guys want to do something? <laughs> you want to do something? You guys, that's what I thought. No. Because before Drake was hated, he was loved. Ladies and gentlemen, Drake! The Toronto rapper may not have had the toughest upbringing in the traditional sense, but to everybody who's followed Drake's career, you understand that Drake fought hard to get to the top of an industry that did not love him. Drake, you like Drake? No. And because of that, as no. Drake's career continued and his name became bigger and bigger, he was somewhat of an underdog. And for that, you kind of wanted to root for Yeah, I can't even lie, bro. Drake was straight up that nigga for years bro like he, he truly was like he on them all you want bro but he was that nigga for years and like you know he don't get his flowers down the road but kendrick lamar cleaned him up obviously but still like you know he deserves his credit still for running run the game while little wayne went to sleep for a, a while you know what i mean like he took over and it, it was a great takeover he, he, he ran with it for a, a good long time bro it was it was dope but you know, now we got like all this crazy shit about him, blah, 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 I take care of his son, pedo shit, like damn, bruh. It's like, poor dude, bruh, but he, he, gotta, he gotta be stopped, bruh, if, it, if it's true. I don't know, it's been everything's been real quiet about all this. Like, now we're just, we're, I don't know if we're even waiting. Like, Drake's posting normal fucking photos and shit now. Or, like, I don't know, I would say normal. He's wearing some big ass pants. I don't know where he'd find these gigantic pants. But. He's wearing like big ass pants with these fucking sweaters and shit. <laughs> I don't know, Mr. Roger sweaters. I don't know what he's doing. But he watched his son playing soccer, so he's being a dad. That's a good thing. Got. Which is why by 2016, Drake was one of the biggest artists, not only in hip hop, but the world as a whole. Essentially becoming the poster child of hip hop's most successful era. And of course, the reason why Drake was able to do this is essentially because he managed to separate Drake the person from Drake the brand. Drake the person was using Ghost brand. Riders to make his raps, but it didn't matter because Drake the brand was still making hits. And honestly, as long as these two entities stayed separated, Drake would never fail. Speaking of brands though, uh, no sponsorship, but yeah, so I would cross. appreciate it if you guys, you know, dropped a sub. This video will probably put me over 36,000, so I'd appreciate it, you know, a step closer towards that 100k plaque. Shit, I'm almost but, at 8,000, yeah, anyway, can't wait. Because even if Drake the person was an asshole, in the public eye there was enough separation from the two that it didn't matter. It's not like Kanye, for example, where his brand is that he is himself. With Kanye the person and Kanye the artist being essentially the same. And that goes for most rappers. Because that is what hip hop is built on, right? Being yeah. real. But hey, Drake made it work. Or at least he made it work until those two worlds became one. Yeah. <laughs> Pusha T. Much has been said about Drake's battle with Pusha T. But as time continues to tick on, the story of Adidon becomes one of the most that boy was a joker that took down his way, bro. of all time. And though on the surface it might seem like all Pusha T did was expose Drake's sons to the world, the deeper reason as to why it hurt Drake's image as much as it did is because the diss track wasn't about Drake the artist, Drake the rapper, Drake the brand. It was about Aubrey Drake Graham. That photo on the cover, that was Drake expressing himself as an actor before he was the rapper. Pusha T talking about Drake being abandoned by his dad is not a rap thing, it's his real life. And it kind of woke up some people to the two faces of Drake. And it could have been a career killer 
if Drake didn't stay true to himself and kept the brand separate from the person. It's so rolling, not a stop. Why shit don't never stop? Looking back, Scorpion is one of the most important Drake albums because had Scorpion not been what it was in terms of reestablishing the Drake brand, I doubt that Drake would still be a relevant name or at least as relevant as he That's is probably now. True, However, it wasn't Drake and the best. people at OVO and yo, were what's very up, uh, smart uh, about Japan. how they went about the album. I Part of how you do this is by not mentioning such a key by name and only throwing follow. subliminals at him and marketing a lot of his album towards women. Everybody get your motherfucking roll on. A Thanks. very important audience for the Drake brand because as long as women like Drake, then men who want women are going to like Drake because women like Drake. Followers. And if anything, 2018 rejuvenated Drake's career. Yeah. By 2019, he was nominated for what? seven I Grammys, see, taking home one of them, which is, by the way, more than Pusha T did that night. So, hey, maybe brand management really does work. Also, Billboard named him the artist of the decade for what it's worth. And as we yeah, Bro, to it's a new decade, decade, it really cereal, did bro. seem like there was no Watching, stopping uh, the Drake train. Dark Lane Double had right its now. own chart topping hits. I'm and the CLB era had people putting broken hearts on their heads. The point is that Drake was as big of a brand as ever. And as of last year, Drake managed to surpass Michael Jackson on the all time oh, yeah, leaderboards when it comes to number one hits. However, it was the record-breaking first-person shooter that would start a domino effect that would make the two worlds of Drake become one. Because though Drake the brand was indestructible, Drake or at brand, least it I'm seemed like it, the actions of Drake the person was going to catch up with the brand. Like Kendrick's still holding this, bro. He's still, which he's still is got exactly that. what happened on March of 2024. Hey. Three months into the year that was supposed to see Drake step away from hip hop, I Metro they Boomin played a song, but they decided did. to release a diss album called We Don't Trust You. And honestly, to call it a cool. rejuvenating album in the hip hop landscape is almost underselling the impact that this record has had. Because even though it's only been a few months since its release, it is easily one of the most impactful hip hop albums it this really decade. Is. Walk around with stick, it ain't Andre DK. Now, we might be <laughs> numb to the impact of like that, but there is no taking away the initial shock factor and surprise that was that first listening of the song. It was the beginning of a war. And it was clear that the big three were going to have to prove why they are the big three. Kendrick Lamar, Drake, and J. Cole all facing off to showcase their lyrical supremacy. Or at least that's what it was supposed to be. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but yeah. the world was <laughs> <clean>. My boy. <laughs> so I say all of that to say, in my spirit. You don't get clown for this forever, get bro. This music out. I ain't gonna oh, lie to y'all. man. I moved in a way that was. That I, I had to see this so many times. <laughs> Like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right. That's well. right though, that man. He survived. That shit, you know, that's all that matters, bro. Piece. Aubrey Almost Graham right now is watching his kid play soccer Jay now, bro. He ain't making no hits. Kendrick Lamar. Of course, he had just released Seven Minute Drill and it wouldn't be hey, took it away. out of this world if J. Cole just felt like he was doing too much. However, something about the apology just never made real sense to anyone, and it all started to make sense once Drake released push-ups. Because Drake has this one fatal problem in every rap beef that he gets into, and it's that whatever he doesn't have in terms of lyrical talent, he makes up for in personal shot. More specifically, personal shots at the person's significant other, whether it be a wife, a husband, like a about boyfriend, the a girlfriend. Drake will, for whatever reason, bring it up. From Common to Serena Williams to Kobe Bryant to Dylan Brooks. And even he really do do that. In the future. Rewinding six years back, that oh is boy, what Teddy. got him in hot water with Pusha T. Mentioning his fiance, and here he is six years later doing the same thing, but this time with Kendrick Lamar. I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Insinuating that Kendrick's wife was cheating on him with bodyguards. Something Dropping that Kendrick stick. Lamar did not take very well. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> well, Kendrick Lamar went at him personally. It began with Euphoria questioning Drake's fatherhood, or more accurately, the presentness of Drake in his child's life. Then he followed that up with Sit 16 in LA, where he questions the friends he has around him. An insecurity one. that Drake has brought up a lot since the beginning of his career, which does make you think how much he thinks about that. And though Drake promised that Family Matters was going to be the red button that would destroy <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, 
it was basically ineffective with the release of Meet the Grams, which was an even more personal look into Drake, once again highlighting the difference of the two worlds to a mass audience. Lastly, wild, there was bro. Not Like Us. They not like us. Which unlike oh, the started, beforehand, bro. really focused in on the allegations that Drake is a certified pedophile. And truly wah, wah, is because wah, wah, of wah. this that Kendrick won. He merged the world of Drake the person and Drake the artist. Because when you think about so now how what are we Drake left overcomes with? criticism, a lot of it has to do with playing into it. He plays the character of Drake. He destroyed Meek Mill by saying, I'm supposed to be the soft one. I'm supposed to be the singer. He plays into the jokes when it comes to the ads that he does. But he's attempting to play into it. That's why he rapped over the BBL Drizzy B. And why he continues to make jokes on the Hey yeah, There he trying, Delilah bro. parody song. This is Drake playing the distraction game. This is Drake playing the clown. Hiding his downfall with a joke. That is what's wrong with Drake. Now let's say hypothetically I was talking to sponsorship brands. Uh, I really do hope that you not, motherfuckers maybe, pull up. I'm really. just saying I I just need that support. You know <laughs> what I'm really, saying? Yeah, so yes. if one day it just magically smoke, appears on a video of mine, I need y'all to show out. All right. All right. Something wrong with Drake? That wasn't bad. That was actually a pretty good video.